Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone for teaching this truth. And salutations to all the Akim across the world pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. All right, I'm just going to go into uh, uh, a couple quick scriptures because uh, if you're not tired of this fucking place, man, it's going to be over for you, man. All right, if you're not tired of these goddamn fucking women, man, trying to tell you what to do, all right, asserting authority over you, as the Lord said not to do, if you're not tired of these goddamn Edomite cavemen and cave women ruling over you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna come a time where you're gonna face destruction and wrath of the Most High, man. All right, because logically, how can you be okay with making crumbs, man? How can you be okay that a caveman is ruling over you? The chosen of the Most High. All right. At some point in time, you got to come and realize that this place is not for you. This place pushes nothing but bad things. All right. This place pushes nothing but abominations. All right. You have women that dress like men. All right. Which is an abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You have women that have sort of authority over men. Which is an abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You have men that wear women's clothes. You have men that sleep with other men, which is all an abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So as you can see, there's a list. All right. There's a plethora of a, 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 a plethora of things that are abominable and that are being done in the midst of that are being done in the midst of Babylon, which is America, man. All right. So your mindset as an Israelite coming into this truth, man, you should be fed up with this shit all the time, man. You should be constantly vexed, man. All right, day in and day out, man. So you, so 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 your spirit is registered as sighing and crying to the Most High because that's what you should really be doing in all actuality. All right, and your spirit and mind, you should be tired of this fucking place, man. You should be tired of getting up every morning and going to work for crumbs, man. You should get tired of it, man. And if you're not, man, that means that you are a part of the wicked. Which also means that you are a part of the Lord's destruction and wrath that is soon to come, man. Okay? Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay? So that's, that should be our whole end goal, man. That should be our mentality every day. That should be in our spirit every day, okay? Constantly being vexed with this place, man. Constantly being vexed, vexed with the unrighteous decrees that are done here, man. Okay? That should be your spirit, man. Because if it's not, that means you're, that you're just a wicked, evil, demon, demonic person, man. All right? And if you scoff at the men of the Lord, that also means that you're going to be destroyed, man. Because you love wickedness, man, and you love perverseness. Which I'm talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You love that, man. You love all of it. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. So, don't be mad and don't cry and don't sigh when your destruction comes. Alright? Verse 5, it says, and, the, and to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite the word spite means to kill and slay, man. This is what the Lord set the angels up to do for you people, man. All right? Because you're not listening, you're not hearkening, and you're not coming back to you. How about Shemi Shai, man? You're not sighing and crying, man. You're loving, the, you, you, you're joyous in this place, man. This is your home. <laughs> you know? Then it says, Go ye after him through the city and smite, kill or slay. Let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. All right? So any of you wicked people, which includes majority and uh, uh, ultimately you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Na Native Americans, man. Out of you that love this wicked place, man, the Lord is going to set a mark upon you to be destroyed. And the ones of you that hate this place and sigh and cry day and night, all right, and are constantly vexed, the Lord is going to put a mark upon you so that the Lord can, so that the angels may have grace over you, man. All right? Then, and protect you, man. All right? And, and, and this also goes for you wicked as Israelites teaching your children, man. All right? Because your children are not going to be exempt, man. The Lord is going to destroy them too. All right? You, 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 your your five-month-old, one-month-old baby is not going to be exempt, man. 
See, the thing that you people don't understand is the Lord is terrible, man. The Lord is terrible if you're wicked, all right? And the, and the Lord is great in mercy if you're righteous, man. So why not fight for that righteousness, man? Why not fight for the mercy, man? Which consists of sighing and crying in your spirit and mind about this garbage-ass, wicked place, all right? This concrete jungle that the so-called white man has us in as a captivity, man. Because we aren't free. That's why the scriptures say that this isn't our rest, which means that we're still in captivity, which means that we're still slaves, okay? This is not our rest, all right? But, you know, going on a tangent, but back to the point, man, you, you, the, 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 the younger kids, one-month-old baby, two-month-old two baby, infant, toddler, not gonna be, they're not going to be exempt, man, all right? Verse 6, it says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And that's who we're fighting to be. We're fighting to be one of those men, man. All right? Doing this work, man. Going out on the highways and byways, teaching you people and teaching you, <laughs> teaching you Israelites, whether you believe you are or not, what the truth of the Bible is, man, and what the truth and judgment of the Most High is, man. Okay? We're fighting to, and by that, we're fighting to be one of the men that receive a mark out of this destruction and wrath of, the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Then it says, um, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. I'm going to start back up at five. Let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. All right, so all the wrath and destruction that's coming, man, the Lord is going to begin with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The ones of you that don't want to get right. The ones of you that don't hearken to the, 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 to the, to the word of the Most High. All right, he's going to start with you. He's going to start with our nation first. <laughs> so logically, wouldn't you want a, a fight to, 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 to remove yourself out of that, man? No, you don't because you're set in your heart and your mind is set on wickedness, man. Because you love perverseness, man. All right. You love being in a, a wicked captivity. You women love asserting authority over men. You love being a slut. You love being a whore. All right. You love this place, man. You love being a, a uh, you love being a wicked slave because that's what you are. All right. Let me get one scripture. You love uh, your you love these so-called white people who are Edomites. Which are basically cavemen. You love that the you love the fact that they're ruling over you. You love it. You love it because they've given you a gift. All right. They give you a little nine to five job, and now you think you're you think you're straight, man. But no, man. If the scriptures say that we're supposed to be ruling over the earth, the earth is the the the, the uh, that we uh the earth was made for our sakes, and you're not mad about that. That means you trust and love being a slave, man. You trust being a slave. You trust the white man. You love his rulership. You trust whatever he says. Uh, 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 to, you, you trust whatever he, he says to be true. You trust that, that whatever he says to be good. All right? Let me get one scripture. This is Isaiah 30, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel... Because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon because you trust in oppression, man. You don't even realize that you're being oppressed, man. Ultimately, you're being oppressed because you don't even know who you are. These cavemen people have uh, taken you away from your heritage, man. All right. They've completely hid it. All right. You don't even know that you're the children of the most high. The chosen people of the whole entire earth. So therefore, you're being oppressed from your own heritage. And you trust in that. You trust in being called black. You trust in being called Mexican. You trust in being called uh, 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 Indian and Native American. You trust in all these bywords that somebody that doesn't even like you labeled you and put upon you, man. You trust in that. Then it says, and trust in oppression and perverseness. All right, let's read what that's, that means perverseness to depart to turn aside to go wrong go crooked devious perverse to be lost from view to become de devious okay so you basically turned aside from the most high's law man you do everything contrary to the things that he set you up and told you to do 
by where your forefathers from the beginning, man. You trust in the so-called white man more rather than your power. Okay, you trust in perverseness and you stay there on it. You stay on it. You're you're stuck on it. You're stuck on doing evil and wickedness, man. All right. Verse 13, but there's going to be a, ju a judgment for that. Verse 13, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Okay, so you trusting on all this oppression, man. You trusting on the so-called white man's society and his jobs and everything he's given you as far as gifts, all right, as far as incentives, all right. You trusting in him, you're going about to, you're about to see that he's about to be destroyed. And while that's happening, you're gonna be you're gonna see that you're gonna be destroyed along with him, man. Alright? You're gonna be destroyed along with the people that the oppressors that you love. The master that you love. Master, you love him. You still see majority of you so-called Negroes and uh, Native Americans, man. All you are house niggas, man. Okay? You try to make fun of the house nigga, oh, the house nigga. You still a house nigga, man. Majority of you Israelites are still house niggas and house Israel and house uh, uh, Spicks and house Uncle Toms and Uncle Tantos. You're still house, house niggas, man. You might think you're one of the free slaves and, okay? No, man, we are in our captivity still, man. Okay? Let me get another scripture, man. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. The scriptures clearly said that this is not your rest, man. So at night, how can you rest at night knowing that you're being oppressed? How can you rest at night knowing that you're being you're being paid unfair wages? How can you rest at night knowing that you don't even know your heritage and it's been it's been taken from you, man? How can you rest at night through all that, man? Alright? Because you're wicked, man. And you trust in perverseness and oppression as the scripture I got previously said. Okay? Then it says, because it is polluted, you trust in this place that, that, that serves you pork. You trust in this place that pushes homosexuality. Okay? You trust in this place that, 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 that rules in unrighteous decrees and laws. You trust in a place that is totally and, and, and utterly polluted from righteousness, man. There is no righteous in America, man. There is no righteousness except it be, Lord willing, we are the, 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 the election or the remnant. There is no righteousness except the men of the Lord who are of great millstones, starting with the uh, apostles uh, and, and on down, man. Apostles and elders on down, man. <laughs> to be honest, that is the only righteousness in this place, man. Other than that, man, it, <laughs> it's nothing else. But total and utter wickedness man all right then it says it shall destroy you all right and that's why a lot of you niggas get shot down in the street man that's why a lot of you niggas still depend on a so-called white man man that's why a lot of you niggas are always sad that's why a lot of you native americans and so-called latinos are always mad and stressed out and never have no money <laughs> because this place because you trust in it, it's destroying you. It's destroying your mind. It's destroying your body. It's destroying your spirit. It's destroying you. That's why the Lord said, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it it is polluted. It shall it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Because it's destroying you already, mentally, physically, and and, and, and spiritually. But next, the Lord is gonna just do away with you, man. All right, the sword destruction." It's gonna, it, it, it's gonna come when all the calamities and, and all the wrath of the Most High uh, 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 comes to you, man. All right. Also, the sword destruction is knowing, is not knowing who you are, man. It's totally destroyed you, people, man. Okay. Because a so-called white man is not gonna tell you who you are, man. Because he knows that you are a greater and better people, a more understanding and wise people than he is, man. All right. Salakia.
I'm gonna get one more scripture. So lucky, man. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, and that knowing the time, all right? So the men of the Lord are telling you what time it is, man. They're telling you that America is about to be destroyed, that the Lord is coming back, all right? This all is about to happen soon. They're telling you what time it is, man, all right? Then it says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, all right? Because you still call Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans your sleep. All right, you're dead in your in your sins. You're dead in wickedness, man. Okay? But since the men of the Lord are telling you what time it is, man, the Lord is telling you that it's time to wake out of sleep. It's time to get up. It's time to come back to your nationality. It's time to come back to your royal your royal uh, 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 history and heritage, man. It's time. It's time to wake up. Now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay? So we came over here in, in, in cargo slave ships through the transatlantic slave trade, all right? And now the Lord is about to come save us with UF, who the, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs because they cannot identify them, but they're identified by the men of the Lord as the chariots of the Most High, man. Our salvation is nearer than we, when we believed. All this stress and all this paying bills, this shit is, this shit is about to end. The Lord is about to come uh, uh, redeem us and bring us in captivity to him. Okay? And now it's time to wake out of sleep. All right? Verse 12, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. All right? The night, we've been in the night not knowing who we are, serving slavery and, and, and free uh, servitude. All right? Suffering oppression, suffering from diseases and sicknesses. Being the first fire or the first fire last hired, vice versa. If you say it the other way, you know. Being the bottom of the barrel, all right. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. The day we're coming into the day. We're gonna live the, the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. The day is coming where we're about to be redeemed and saved, man. All right. Then it says, "Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness." All right, darkness is it, it, it's your wickedness, man. It's time to cut it out. It's time to cast it off. All right, because the Lord wants a, a holy, righteous seed to come back, so they can start His nation over again, man. So now it's time to throw off your wickedness, throw off smoking cigarettes, smoking weed. All right, time to throw off sleeping with people's husbands and sleeping with people's wives. It's time to throw that off, man. It's time to stop being a goddamn faggot. It's time to stop being a lesbian. It's time. It's all. It's, it, that's through, man. It's time to cut that shit out, man. It's time to stop doing what you want to do, man. Thinking you know something, man. It's time for you women to, to be in subjection to a, a righteous man, man. It's time for you women to stop choosing pieces of shit and wicked men. It's time for all that to stop. All right. Then it says, therefore, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light, which are these scriptures, which are the, which are the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. It's time for us to put, a, put on the armor of the most high. Okay? Because tough times are coming and if you don't have this armor on, you're going to die, man. You're going to die in your wickedness, man. Because you're going to be marked by the most high for destruction. Okay? Let me get one more. Bear with me. Because we've been in sin too long, man. And that's why the Lord left us. Because once we started to commit iniquity, the Lord put us, sent us off into slavery. Sent us onto ships, which was prophesied thousands of years ago, man. And now we're at the end of it and we're nearing the salvation part of it. All right? This is, uh, this is Isaiah 1, verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. 
my people doth not consider. All right. So the ox and the ass are two of the dumbest animals, but they know who feeds them every day and they know who they should uh, uh, come to when being called. OK, they're smart enough to know that. But you dumbass Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you're not even smart enough to come back to the Most High when he calls you through to his men on the streets, man. All right? You're not even smart enough to come back to the fact that you're the most intelligent, wise, understanding people on the earth. That you are the children of the living power. Okay? You're not even wise enough. And you don't consider it because you don't care. Because you're stuck in perverseness and you trust in oppression. And you stay there on. All right? Then it says a sinful nation of people laden. Let's look what this word laden means. Laden, heavy, great, heavy, massive, abundant, numerous, heavy, dull, hard, difficult, burdensome, very oppressive, numer numerous, and rich. Or in a bad sense, great, grievous. So, so the Lord is saying you, you have a massive amount of iniquity and sin amongst you, man. And it's time to leave that alone, man. And come into the light as the, as the previous scripture said. Okay? Then it says, A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Okay? So we've been totally living contrary to, the, to, to what the Most High has been uh, 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 desiring and requiring of us, man. That's why he calls and tells us we're the people that are laden with iniquity, man. That's why he tells us that we're a seed of evildoers, man. Because from the beginning, all right, from Deuteronomy all the way up until now, our people have been going completely off and being going completely contrary to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why it says that our people are a seed of evildoers. Okay? Then it says, because all this is going to come to an end, man. The Lord is giving you chances, and he's seeing that you're just not going to listen, so he's just going to destroy you, man, with the second death. All right? Because there's no getting to you. The only way you're going to learn is death by pain. All right? Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revert, revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. Okay? From the sole of the foot even up to the head, there's no soundness in it. This is why you go to the stores... And, 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 and this is why you trust in oppression, and this is why you uh, this is why you don't want to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments because of your pride. All right, because your the, the whole mind of the soul, the nation of Israel is sick. All right, there's no soundness in it, which is why the Lord left a remnant, man, a lift a remnant that has that soundness and brilliance, man, that can understand this word and that's tired of this fucking bullshit, man. Okay. Then it says, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. All right, so we've been, all the captivities we've been through, all right, all the oppression we went through, all the rape, rob, and murder of our people, all right, that's destroyed us, man. All right, and that's what it's describing when, it's, when it says, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, man, all that oppression and all those things done that have been done to us. That's why our nation is totally and utterly destroyed. But we brought it upon ourselves because we stopped following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Then it says, your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Okay, your country over there in the land of Israel is desolate. And it has gutter rats there. It has fake Jews who are Amalekites who go back to Esau, man. Our homeland is totally destroyed, man. Just, just as well as our people. All right, like the land is, the people are. <laughs> the land is destroyed along with the people that come from, that are that are supposed to be in that land. They're destroyed. All right. So, man, it, it's, it's really time to wake out of sleep, man, as the scripture said. Or you're going to be destroyed with thermonuclear destruction. All right. So, with that, I hope that was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. And salutations to you, Akim, and, and Akwa, who are listening, that are pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom.